They ask you concerning Dhul Karnain. Say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. Verily, we established his power on earth, and we gave him the ways and the means to all ends. One such way he followed. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. Near it he found a people. We said, O Dhul Karnain, you have authority either to punish them or to treat them with kindness. He said, Whoever does wrong, him shall we punish. Then shall he be sent back to his Lord, and he will punish him with a punishment unheard of before. But whoever believes and works righteousness, he shall have a goodly reward, and easy will be his task as we order it by our command. Then followed he another way, until when he came to the rising of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no covering protection against the sun. He left them as they were. We completely understood what was before him. Then followed he another way, until when he reached a tract between two mountains, he found beneath them a people who scarcely understood a word. They said, O Dhul Karnain, the Gog and Magog people, do great mischief on earth. Shall we then render you tribute in order that you might erect a barrier between us and them? He said, The power in which my Lord had established me is better than tribute. Help me therefore with strength and labor. I will erect a stronger barrier between you and them. Bring me blocks of iron. At length, when he had filled up the space between the two steep mountain sides, he said, Blow with your bellows. Then, when he had made it red as fire, he said, Bring me that I may pour over it molten lead. Thus were they made powerless to scale it or to dig through it. He said, This is a mercy from my Lord. But when the promise of my Lord comes to pass, he will make it into dust. And the promise of my Lord is true.